The Aussie Gladwin Canoe Marathon is proudly presented by Park Lane Super Spa. Thriving in its new place in the KZN canoeing calendar, the Aussie Gladwin on the last Sunday in November struck a chord with paddlers feeling the build-up to the FNB doozy in February. Guppy paddling is coming on and um, we're also very proud of the number of uh, development guppies that we have. And it was great to see this morning that um, development guppies were very, very well represented and it, it bodes very well for the future. Yeah, look, for sure, um, it's, it's been a while since I've been in a river, uh, especially on the doozy system, but um, looking forward to paddling with Jason Graham and uh, my doozy partner is Yasla Mocker and he's still travelling at the moment, so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, it looks like a cracker day as usual uh, up here at Albert Falls and um, lots of big crews out today to, to show off their guns and um, who's ready to, uh, to take the title. We've tried to style the Aussie Gladwin to provide a synergy and a similar pattern to the Doozy. The difference is that the order is um, not the same. The Doozy you start on a technical river stretch, then you have your portages and then you have a, a, the Nanda Dam. Here uh, on the Aussie Gladwin we have a flat stretch on the Albert Falls Dam. Now bearing in mind that many of the paddlers, the front crews, are world marathon champions in their own right, it is actually flat water paddling at its best with the best paddlers in the world. Uh, it's three kilometers long and it normally uh, splits a batch into several bunches and it's always interesting to see who's going to be on the front bunch to get to the portage first. No, I had uh, a lot of fun out there, um, managed to get off the dam first and uh, then had a bit of admin with our, my juice bottle, the strap broke so we were dragging it like a handbrake but yeah, all in all it was a tough day of racing but uh, it was great to paddle Jason Graham. Great day on Aussie Gladwin, uh, you can't miss this race, one of the best races in the country. It was quite a lot of fun, the run was pretty tough in the beginning but I decided that I was going to commit to not walking once and just keep the rhythm slowly, slowly because I knew once we got in the water we'd be able to put in some more power but slowly but surely I think we found a better rhythm and felt better and better. I think this, this race is very important as a doozy seating race and, and as Andy says, just time on the boat together in the lower river. This is a similar racing conditions, I think, to what we're going to expect on this year's Doozy. Andy is the most powerful paddle I've ever had in the back of the boat. Um, so it's, it's been a real pleasure so far. We, every now and then we have a bit of a lean, to, but to be honest, it doesn't make much of a difference because Andy's power is still there, so I've been very happy so far. Yeah, we always expect uh, a little bit of aggression coming from those guys. They race hard, um, they know how to race down rivers, and so it always makes for exciting racing for them, for us, and for the spectators. The fact that it goes beyond the end of the normal Upper Amgheny past the bridge is nice because there's some enjoyable rapids and it's a good practice for Doozy because you start with a nice dam paddle and then a hard uphill run. We were just trying to hang in at, uh, at the start, not really controlling the race, but just trying to limit the damage the guys were going to do on us and just hang in there until we, until we got to the river section. We had to catch up a bit, but 
It was was a was a fast paced race. I think uh, the amount of competitors that turn out for a one day race makes Aussie quite a special one. Most of the top doozy contenders are out here today, so you you have some really fast racing with top crews, and uh, not many other one day races in the country have that. Soms and Ward starting to put the hammer down with Hartley and Tutton second, and the juniors peak and purchase in third. Back at the business end of the race, it's still the same three at the front. We don't have nothing to lose. We won't pass a challenge and we were, we were sitting on top of the seating. So for us, we came here to, to have fun, to enjoy the race and to learn some skills going down the river and to see how the cars they go. It was awesome. I have so much faith in her down the river. I'm not worried about a single thing with when it comes to rapids. I'll just let her take the wheel and just see how it goes. I think because it's manageable, it's not so big, like the rap rapids aren't like huge and it's good practice and it's good experience for Doozy and since it's my first Aussie Gladden I really liked it. I think we've got a good chance for Doozy. I think we definitely want to come first under 18 and just try our best to come top three in women. Well, the Aussie Gladwin is one of the main lead-up races to the Doozy. Uh, it's run on the Umgani, which is not, it doesn't share a common river stretch to the Doozy. It's a race where we believe we've got the route um, optimised and uh, we're getting record entry fee uh, fields. The, the water that is released on this stretch is not lost, so we are always guaranteed a, a water release from Albert Falls to Nagel. The Nagel Dam feeds onto Durban, so the water that goes into Nagel from Albert Falls is actually trapped and secure. And for that reason, paddlers are assured of a decent water release. The other advantage is that the water is always um, very clean. There, there, there are no problems with um, E. coli and so forth. And then it's also a very, very pretty stretch of river and a pretty start and a beautiful finish at Thornvale Farm. So all in all, it lends itself to a wonderful day out. So, Burkett adding a K2 title to the K1 title that he won last year, and a perfect start for this doozy combo on their first race together. Rubenstein and Mbanjwa holding off and Slot and Carl Forscher for fifth. That's Aussie title number six for Abby. It's Hartley's last river race before she starts her Rio Olympics preparations and mom and daughter Kim and Jordan peak in fifth. Well, Cameron McKenzie, the owner, um, he, he's a former chairman of the, for the Juicy, and um, we get involved just to say thank you. It's an awesome day, awesome feeling, the atmosphere is great, you see lots of family here, they're all enjoying themselves, it's just fantastic. The Aussie Gladwin Canoe Marathon was proudly presented by Park Lane Super Spa.